What is going on guys? Nemesis has arrived. This is honestly probably one of my most anticipated games probably ever. I tried to get this game. Uh, I missed the first Kickstarter for it. I tried to get it on the second hand market. There was some mix ups. So when the lockdown campaign came back around, dude, I had to jump in. I could get all the old stuff for it and I got a bunch of stuff for it. Uh, I am just really excited about this. The brew that I grabbed, this is just some Yingling Summer Shandy. Uh, sorry, Lining Kugel Summer Shandy. I just grabbed whatever out of the fridge. Dude, I'm just really excited. So let's switch the angle. Why don't you grab your brew? Let's get into this one at a time. We'll start with the core box, show you what's inside, and join me, join me for this unboxing. So without further ado, let's switch the angle and let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's just start getting into it. Um, Again, guys, I am I am so excited about this. I uh, so the story kind of goes. I missed the first Kickstarter, like I said. Uh, found a guy who was selling it at a semi reasonable price on eBay. Uh, tried to pick it up. My wife actually was she bought it for me through that guy um, for I think it was for my birthday. But anyway, so we were waiting for the you know, for it to actually ship to him so then he could ship it to us. However, I guess he got like a retailer pledge. First, let's look at the, uh, before we continue, let's look at the back here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this looks awesome. Dude, look at the queen. Oh my God, I am, ex I am excited. Look at all the stuff in this box. I am excited. Artwork on it is fantastic. Dude, I, I, I love this artwork. I think this is some of the coolest stuff I've seen. Um, so yeah, so we were waiting. I think the guy had a retailer pledge. And so the, I guess, Awakened Realms sent the retailer pledges out last. And they there was a delay on sending it to the guy. So long story short, there was just months and months of delay. Everybody else was getting the game. A little manual here. Manual looks cool. Rule summary on the back. All right. Let's look at this briefly. I'll continue the story in a second. Awesome. Yeah, the artwork all throughout is really cool. Really cool. I'll set that off to the side. Yeah, I'll definitely have to read that tonight. So basically, it was months and months of delay. We ended up canceling. Uh, because then they launched a new Kickstarter for lockdown on, uh, on Kickstarter, like I said. So I was just like, you know, I could get everything at a cheaper price. Um, you know, and the guy was still waiting for his original delivery, even though the Kickstarter launched, that's how long the delay was. So needless to say, I jumped in and I did split shipping. Here we go. Here's wave number one. So I'll eventually get locked down in, uh, when they send out all that stuff as well. So really excited. So let's, uh, here we got the room sheet. All right, so this just tells you what the different rooms do. If you take an action on the room, additional rooms too, okay, special rooms. Very cool, so there's two of these big sheets. Very nice. All right, that's awesome. Here looks like it must be the rooms themselves as well as some other tokens on the, the game board, okay. All right, let's just take a look at uh let's take a look at some of these rooms, huh? Obviously, I'm not going to go into every single thing. The video would just take forever. But I do just want to look at some of this artwork. Awesome. Emergency room, treat your wounds, okay? Surgery. They're popping out nicely. Really nice. We got the nest. Oh, no. Look at that. Fire control system, okay? Generator. Dude, that looks awesome. Yeah, dude, the artwork on the rooms looks really good. What is that? Comms room. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Awesome storage. Armory. All right, so you would mix up the rooms and you would you would shuffle them up, place those uh, on some of those number one spots since these are number one rooms. That's awesome. Okay, tokens. Got the intruder board. Everything's popping out really nice. Dude, just look at this artwork, man. Dude, the artwork is... The artwork is awesome. Awesome stuff. Tokens. All right. I believe these are eggs. Yeah, everything's popping out really nicely. 
evacuation section A, section B. All right. So these are for the engines. Engine's going to be working, damaged. Nice. Yeah, the token uh, art looks really cool. See that guy's like in the corner. What is this for? Yeah, I don't know what that one's for. I'll have to check that out. Awesome. All right. Yeah, everything's popping out really nicely. Awesome. Dude, I, I, I am so excited about this game. I mean, people are saying it's a it's a movie in a box, right? It's a movie in a box. I mean, the experience is that some people are saying it's rated really highly on uh, Board Game Geek. Um, I mean, just everybody that I've seen has has rated this pretty highly. Canteen, have snack, and uh, dude, I just love the alien aspect. You're on the ship, right? You gotta. It's like a fight for survival, and then also there's like a secret. Uh, people have secret objectives, right? You might have to send the one of your secret objectives might be to send the ship to, you know, not Earth, change it from going to Earth, and nobody else knows that but you. I just think that's that could be pretty cool. But also you have the freedom, right? You know, you could, I guess, play with a house rule to not have those secret uh, objective cards. So then you are just working fully co-op. That looks awesome. Cabins. Yeah, dude, these rooms look awesome. Really cool. I'm digging that. And then you have the numbers here to determine how many items are in those uh, rooms and then the cost to activate to play this uh, room action is right here you would discard cards really cool really digging all this artwork really digging all of it all right so you got some of the player boards here you got all the actions basic actions do careful movement crafting stuff tells you what kind of mini you have dude that's awesome that is awesome. So here's the different uh, things you would draw out of a bag randomly. Some of these are going to be, I think, like larva, adults, breeders, the queen. I think this is the queen right here. So you've, if you would draw the queen out of the bag, you'd have to place the queen on the board. Dude, that's awesome. Mechanic. Really cool. Dude, I am, I am pumped. I am pumped. These components look really nice, right? All this artwork is fantastic. Scientist. Pilot. Just pop the board out of here. Yeah, everything's coming out really nicely. Artwork on is fantastic. Fantastic. Got the soldier. They got the scout. All right, so you got the uh, skate pods here. Everything's coming out nicely, really nice. I'm not sure what these are. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, man. Really cool. I'm excited. Fire tokens, slime. All right, what do we got here? Take a cool picture of your game box. Huh. Okay. Also, it also this form this makes a little box, huh? Okay, let's fold it around like that. Something like that. I guess I'll have to figure that out. Shouldn't be too complicated. Nice, that's awesome. You got some doors here. Doors look cool. I did get the uh, the terrain expansion. Um, but these look these look really good. Digging that. Got the uh, first player token here and a cat. Cat in a space suit. It's pretty wild. All right. Uh, let's put the rooms off to the side. Some of these tokens. Yeah, man. These tokens look fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's look at the... Uh... Now, nah, let's, save, let's save the board for last. That's a big board. I'm going to have to clear out some stuff. All right. Let's get this insert out of here. Got some dice. Let's look at the dice quick. Yeah, guys, I'm 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 excited. Next time I we play a game here with the family or uh, with some buddies, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Although the next game that I'm doing a playthrough of on the channel is gonna be uh, uh, Cthulhu Death May Die with my wife. So I mean, I guess this one I have to wait. But yeah, dude, these are awesome. Really nice. And these are for uh, noise. You would roll this and. Uh, 
It determines if you get noise or something else. Cool. Yeah, and that's another thing. I saw the uh, components in here, like these noise tokens right here. I mean, these are all cool plastic looking tokens, like not just cardboard. Yeah, this stuff looks awesome. It's just a nice touch, you know what I mean? There's a lot of them too. Nice quality. Nice quality. All right, what do we got? Is this fire? Yep, fire tokens. Really cool. Yeah, so not only are you trying to fend off aliens, right, and fix your ship and reprogram the computer, but you got to worry about your ship blowing up, catching on fire, or malfunctioning. I mean, people say it can be hard. People say it can be really hard. I think I've even seen some uh, people say the house rules like, you know, no fire. You know, they weren't playing with fire. Um, just because it, I mean, it makes it that much more difficult. I think these are malfunction. Are these malfunction tokens? I'm not sure. Yeah, but these are cool little gears. That's awesome. Yeah, just having these 3D components adds a nice little touch, you know? All right, what do we got here? Are these the face huggers? I think so, right? Yeah, these things are these things are creepy as hell. Yeah, they look really cool. Yeah, I think these are the face huggers, right? Dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. I mean, not officially, right? That's why it's called Nemesis and not Aliens. Yeah, cool. All right, there's a few of them in here. What, two, four, six? Six of them? All right. Got a drawstring bag. This is where you place the uh, some of those uh, alien tokens, and you randomly pick one out, and depending on what it is, it'll come onto the board. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's not like too cheap. You know, you get some of those drawstring bags, and they just feel like cheap as hell. All right. This looks like an adult, right? That's awesome. Really cool, really cool. Looks like the tail is a little bit like this. I might, I might just end up putting a, like a little shot of glue right here to keep it down, but I don't know yet. But dude, that looks, that looks fantastic. Dude, the quality is really good. I mean, Awakened Realms has some good qual uh, minis, right? Yeah, man, that's cool. That's really cool. Looks like two of them right here. Nice. Yeah, that tails. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll leave it like there. Maybe it, leave it like that. I mean, we'll see, right? I'll, I'll play it a few times. If it's if it's a problem, I'll fix it. All right, now I'm not I'm not sure who this was. Was this the engineer? Maybe. That's cool. Yeah, the detail is really nice. These are a little bit smaller than I thought it would, they were going to be. Well, I, actually, no, I think it's. I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting really. But the detail is fantastic, fantastic. As you can see, really nice detail. This guy just looks badass, right? He's got some scratches in his helmet up there. He's seen some shit, man. He has seen some shit. Yeah, his suit is sick. Nice. That is awesome. Yeah, the detail is really nice. I'm loving this little, uh, like the base. Looks like you're on like, you know, one of those uh, grid platforms, like a grate almost. Like you would imagine on like a, like a spaceship. Awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. The detail is fantastic. Fantastic. All right, what are these guys? I'm not sure. I mean, are they missing? Are they missing legs? And this is just, or this is just how they were spawned, like out of the, however, and they're just like, this is how they move. I don't know. Cool. Yeah. So there's three of these guys. Yeah, the detail again, really nice. Digging it. Really cool. All right, we got the scanner. So this, I guess, would tell you if you're infected or not, or contaminated. 
So you would slide the card in, I guess right in there, and it would pop up on this screen if you're contaminated, that's cool. Okay, so the procedure, that's nice. It's a little plastic screen right here. Uh, what do we got here? All right, just some, uh, just some tokens, little glass, or it seems like, you know, just little plastic clear uh, tokens. I guess you place these over certain things to indicate, you know, what, what number it is, something like that. Okay. You got the uh, stands for the doors, I'm assuming. Uh, we got some little red cubes here. I think this is for ammo. You place this on, place these on some of the uh, weapons that you have, and that indicates, you know, each cube means, you know, how much ammo you have. These are nice. There's a bunch of them. Nice. All right. Just standard little red cubes. You got some bases, different color bases. Pop those on your characters. Indicate which color you are. And it looks like we have some card stands. So each player is going to have one of these. You can, as you get items, you can slot these in this spot. But this is cool. Like, I mean, just this little 3D element right here. It's a nice little touch. Nothing too fancy, but it's not like, you know, I like the design on it. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, they work, right? Looks like there's uh, five of them in here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, they're not they're not flimsy at all. Like, they're holding up. That's cool. Is there anything below? Okay, there is. Oh, yeah. Let's get this off. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, man, this stuff looks awesome. Take a drink here. All right, what do we got here? Dude, look at these guys. I mean, come on. That is awesome. That is awesome. Looks like we have two of those. It's another one of those guys. Same way, and then we have this guy right here, dude. That is just sick, man. I'm guessing are all of these adults, they're just different poses, like these right here. I mean, they look to be about the same size, right? Just the ones like crouching down. They're just different poses, right? Yeah, probably all adults. Yeah, they look they look really good. Really good. There's another one of those sculpts too. All right, what do we got here? All right, two more of these. All right. They look really good. Really good. I'm happy with all of it. Uh, and I don't know what these are. These... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's obviously the queen right there, right? I don't know what these are. What are the breeders? I don't know what the breeders are. are these breeders? I'm not sure. But these are these are pretty big. Like compared to these guys are pretty tall. And this guy is like hovering, I mean, towering over it. Yeah. Massive. And I mean, here's the here's the character. I mean, dude, look how look how much bigger this is. Jesus. I mean, do you think that gun's going to do any damage to this guy? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. But dude, this just looks sick. Really cool. Really cool. So there's two of these guys. Yeah, the detail is fantastic. Really nice. And let's get out the queen. The queen. Yeah, buddy. That is awesome. I did see the... Uh, the Kings set, like the Alien Kings, they looked really cool too, but yeah, I didn't need all that. Because, I mean, they do the same thing. It doesn't do anything gameplay-wise. Yeah, these are really cool. Or this this queen is, dude, look at this. That is sick. The detail is really cool. You got all these little aliens right here. Really nice. Dude, I am loving this. I am excited. I, I'm going to try, I think on these, I'm going to try to do a wash. Um, I'm not going to try to paint them specific, like, you know, highly detailed. I'm going to try to just do a spray, um, you know, a, a primer on top and then maybe just do a wash over top of it. That's what I'm going to try. And I have, I have been digging like that blue color. Like you've almost like, let's see if we can get the box kind of like this, maybe like this color right here or something like this color. 
as you can see right here, I, I've been digging, I think it's more like this, that color right there. You know, so something along the lines of this color. I've been seeing that on the aliens, dude. It just, it makes them look awesome. All right, so we have some coordinates. This is for the computer, I guess, where you set the location to. Um, okay, some item cards, and these will slot in these stands right here. Um, what are these? More item cards. So this is like a green. Like some of the rooms have different colors as well. So you, if you do a, like a search or something, you could get those uh, green cards. I think there's like yellow and red or maybe blue, something like that. There's a bunch though. There are a lot of cards, a lot of cards. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, okay, so these are, I guess card, okay, so corporate. So this is like the, you know, one of the objectives that you can have. And it says, uh, see, look, player one's character cannot survive. So that's kind of where that, you know, almost hidden traitor element comes in, which I think could be cool. I'm not opposed to doing that. Um, but like an alternative could be maybe take out all of these cards. So you're doing, you're doing a full co-op, but dude, I, I like this idea. Just having like questioning your friends and family, like, you know, what are you doing in that room? You know, what are you, what are you doing over there? What, what coordinates did you set the computer to? And they're like, they're like lying to you, dude. And then you find out later and you're like, <laughs> dude, I just think that's a cool, that's a cool thing. So these are some, uh, okay. This is for the captain. I guess these are all character cards. And there's a lot of these cards as well. There's a bunch of cards in here. We'll take a look at some of the cards. Uh, again, we're not going to go through every single thing. It will just take forever. So just looking at some of these. All right, some action cards. Just turn this over. All right, captain. The artwork on it is fantastic. Really cool. Yeah, look, look at that. Suppressive fire. That's awesome. Demolition. Yeah, buddy. Fast repairs. These are looking really good. Basic repairs. Taking aim. Contamination. All right, so you would take one of these cards and slot it into this uh, thing right here. And I guess you would do it like this. And this would tell you. And I guess you're clear. If you don't see the symbol on there, you're clear. That's just, that's a cool little thing, right? Let's just try another one just to see. Uh, let's do this here. Come on, buddy. Still clear. Let's maybe try a few of them in. Maybe they got all the uh, clears like organized a certain way. I mean, oh, Jesus, there's a ton of these. Uh, let's try this one. We'll just do this one more. Maybe one more if it's clear. Clear. There's got to be one that's contaminated, right? One more. Last one. Nah, one more. We got to try. We got to try one more. Come on. We need one. Still nothing. I got to do one more. I'm going to, I'm going to keep saying that until I get it right. Come on. Are they all clear? Or is it just that rare? You got to be kidding me. Let's do one more. One more. Even if it's clear, we're, we're moving on. No, still nothing. But I swear, some of these, some of the, I know I said one more, right? This is how I'm going to do it. I got to find one now. It's like a, it's like a thing now. Surely they're all not, they're not all clear. Or maybe are the, are just this stack all clear and there's another stack that are, are actually contaminated? I don't know. Or I'm just getting this lucky. You got to be kidding me. Wait, all right. Man, come on. We need one. Okay. All right, well, you're all clear. You're not going to have to worry about being contaminated because I guess every single card seems to be clear. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's try Let's try one more. I know it's... You have got to be kidding me. I swear this is how it works, guys, right? Mm. One more. All right, last one. I know I said it before. Okay. All right, well, um, either it's broken or all the cards are, are free of contamination or I'm just missing the, uh, the other cards. But all of these, uh, 
All of these cards look really good. I'm digging the artwork a lot. Really digging the artwork. Everything in here looks looks fantastic. Let's uh let's clear this stuff off and then let's uh, briefly check out the board. All right, guys. So I I ended up before I even got the board out. I was like, I gotta see if uh there's am I just missing something? I thought it was gonna be like a symbol, like that popped up, but it actually is. If you can see this word, it does say infected right there. So there is going to be a word that says infected. So, uh, so completely forget that whole test. Uh, yeah, but so they, the cards work, the cards work. So let's go ahead and get that board set up now. All right. So here is the board. Uh, it's a nice big board. Uh, it's come on, baby. Oh, there we go. All right, so it, and it is double sided as well. Let's get this thing out of here. Looks like we're upside down here. Look at that. That is awesome. It looks like there's a ton going on. Um, I mean, these are the rooms here. I think this is where you start, where you wake up. Uh, this is like the computer terminal where you set the location. Uh, you can see some uh, where escape pods go, and then up here as well. Uh, you have the engines back here, the three engines. That's just awesome, dude. I, I really, I'm really digging this. I know the light is reflecting off of that, but it is a little bit darker. Like if I hold it up like this. But yeah, the light's reflecting off it. But yeah, this is, it's a beautiful board. It, it really does look like a grim, like alien ship. It looks really cool. Uh, there's numbers on here and you would rotate the room to set uh, like the uh, how many items are in the room. That's a cool idea. Uh, and then here is the other side of it. A little bit different layout. Uh, I guess these are, yeah, these are the engines as well. As well. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the ship is laid out a little bit differently. That's cool. I like that idea. You know, a double-sided board gives you a different ship to play on. That is awesome. Really cool. Really cool. Detail on it looks really nice. I'm really digging it. Really happy with the board. So let's uh, let's get out the... Um, what's next? Let's do the Aftermath. But yeah, let's check out the Aftermath. All right, so here is the Aftermath expansion. So this is supposed to take place after the events of the Nemesis Core game. So I guess if it like, what? Uh, if a different crew came aboard after after your whole story with the core game, uh, a, a nice addition, right? It's cool little, you know, so you can play the core game, have a cool little story, and then play the aftermath on top of your, your story, right? Like, um, not on top of it, like it's not a continuing story, I don't think, but you know, just knowing what you know about what actually happened on the Nemesis and then these events take place after that. I think it's a cool little touch. Got more uh, more characters right here. Got the convict. He looks like Bane, right? Uh, little tokens here. More characters. More rooms. CEO. Got the android. That's awesome. More rooms here. Yeah, the rooms. I'm, I'm really happy with all the art on this stuff. I mean, it just looks cool. Like they did, I think they did such a good job with the artwork. Really digging all of it. Again, these are still popping out really easily. Nice thick cardboard. Really cool. Let's put the convict over here. Put that sheet over here. More, more characters. Psychologist. Bounty hunter. Nice. Look at these tokens. These tokens are awesome. Like, I love the color scheme. Like, I love the color scheme on all this stuff. What's this token right here? Target all, intruder, inactive. Okay. Nice. That's awesome. That is awesome. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah, so you got a ton of characters. Little game board. This is just one little section right here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this works. I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. I looked into a little bit about how the core game plays, but not about anything else. This looks awesome though. Cool. Board detail looks really cool. More two, number two rooms. All right. 
Very cool. Very cool. All right. Look, you got a lot of space right here. I got a, a sand timer, sand glass. Okay. All right. You're going to have to beat the clock on something, right? More cards. Robot. Energy five. Discard one ammo injury marker each time you use a robot action. Okay. All right. Crafted item. Yeah, you can craft stuff too. Search cards. More action stuff. Very cool. This is for the CEO. So we, again, all the characters going to have their own cards in here. Unlimited ambition trait. You start the game with a body serious wound. As long as your robot has energy markers, this wound is considered as dressed. Before the game starts, check the corporate objectives of each player. Okay. Lucrative offer. All right. So this is cool. It looks like it might change the game up a little bit by doing traits. That could be interesting. These look like some of the, uh, and these are some of the minis, right? This is the CEO. He's like struggling. He's got his robot. He's got the cane. Nice. Obviously the same high quality as core box. They all look really cool, really detailed. Nice. I can see something interesting right here. My wife's going to like that. Looks like the convict. And is this the android? Might be the android. Nice. It looks like the first player marker right here. Token, whatever you want to call it. Mini now. Oh, look at that, dude. That's awesome. Dude, it's a cat in a space suit. Dude, that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, my wife's going to really like this. She's really going to like that. And then what do we have here? Some like sentry guns. Oh, yeah. Look at these things. Holy shit. Some turrets. Yeah, they look good. They look really good. Cool. So there's three of those. And then looks like a dog. Yeah. That's cool. Looks like a little German Shepherd. Nice. All right. That's cool. Is there anything under here? No, there is not. All right. So you have a, you have a ton of space here. Uh, I'm wondering if you could put, I mean, the cards will go right. I'm wondering what you could put there. So the game things come here. I mean, I guess all the tokens, I don't know. And then I guess the, uh, character boards go on top right here. Right. Nice. All right. Well, yeah, I'll definitely have to check that out later. All right, let's get into the, uh, what's next? Let's do the void seekers, void seat cedars. I always thought it was seekers. Jesus, Andrew, uh, void cedars. Okay. Yeah. We're just continuing the trend of Andrew pronounces something wrong each video. So that's cool. You know, you got to keep up tradition. Aftermath, have to check that out. All right, let's look at the uh, Void Cedars. All right, the Void Cedars expansion. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what's inside. Dude, the artwork on all these, like, and we didn't really, we kind of glanced over the uh, the Aftermath, but dude, like, look at this. Dude, that's just so cool. The artwork is just sick. Really good. They always have amazing artwork. Like, Tainted Grail was amazing. Really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's open this bad boy. All right. Yeah, dude, this, this looks sick. This looks really cool. Really cool. Dude, yeah, that's all. Dude, I am so excited for this game. I am so excited. Void Cedars. Awesome artwork as well. Changes up the rules a little bit. Are we missing some? Oh, okay, so it looks like these were... Okay, all right. I was like, are we missing tokens already? But it looks like they're right here. Let's get that out of here. All right, some more, uh, more minis, more cards. 
So you void cedar board. So is this going to replace the uh, the other board that you saw from the core box? It might. It might. Void cedar symbol. Okay. Dude, this is awesome. This is awesome. Getting excited. Warnings. These are some cool tokens. Nice. All right. What is this guy right here? What in the world? Dude, look at this thing. Is he like supposed to be busting through all this metal? That's what it looks like. Yeah, buddy. That's cool. Look at that, dude. Holy shit. That is cool. Like the detail is really good. Really good detail. Are these eggs? These might be eggs. Yeah, they look like it. Some egg tokens. Or minis. They look really cool. Nice. Yeah, they look good. They look good. There's three of them here. Uh, there's a bunch of these sculpts. There's six of these things right here. Whoa. Void cedars. Yeah, they all look like they're kind of walking on these tentacles. Oh, these are freaky. They look really good. Quality is really good on these things. All right, you guys. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, these are like... I mean, it's almost like some octopus arms. Doesn't it look like that? Awesome. Awesome stuff. Details, really nice. Really nice. There's four of these guys here, as you can see. And then is... Look, there's no, there's no base. That's kind of cool, right? It just kind of sits... Oh, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, details really nice. I'm I'm really liking this. Dude, this thing is wild. This thing is wild. Let's do a little size comparison. Yeah, man. That's cool. That is cool. I'm excited to try out all the different modes too, you know? How did this go? Like this? Yep. Alright, we got more cards here. Alright. Solid ball kids. Just pop this open, look at a few of these. Insanity track. Insanity track right here. Solid ball kids. Void cedars cannot move through corridors with closed doors. They destroy closed doors instead. Holy shit. Reaction to danger. Okay. So these are like special things that the void cedars do. I don't know what this is. Insanity track. All right, so it looks like five, maybe one for each player. And maybe you have something that tracks on here. All right. That's cool. All right. Interesting. And then generator overheat. If there's a fire marker in the general room, generator room, place a fire marker in each neighboring room. Jesus. All right, Void Cedar's help card. That's going to be useful. There's a bunch of cards in here too. That's awesome, man. I'm so I'm so excited to just not only play the core box, but just mix it up here and there. I just I I have a good feeling about this game. You know, some things I just uh, I get a good feeling about, and it turns out it's true. You know, I, I really end up liking the game, and I have that I have that feeling for this. I really do. I am excited. I'm really excited for all this stuff. Yeah, I can't wait to get in all this stuff. I'm I'm. I can't stop saying I'm excited because guess what? I'm excited. All right. So that is the Void Cedars. Set this off to the side here. And what is next? Let's do the Carnomorphs. I do think it's called the Carnomorphs, right? Yep, Carnomorphs. Okay. Let's open this one up. Yeah, I mean, it's it's currently Friday, so I am going to be looking at this stuff all weekend, all weekend. This video probably won't go out today. Uh, this might come out, I don't know, in a few days, but yeah, man, I'm. this is what I'm going to be doing all weekend. Yeah, buddy. Carnivores. Holy shit, look at these. Awesome. Heat level critical. 
you play the Carnomorph expansion, you will need the Nemesis. Oh. I was reading it like it's some epic thing that they were saying, but it's just you need the core, core, core box. Adds a new intruder race along with their models, tokens, and specific event cards. Okay. Introduces a new game mechanic. Character mutations. Interesting. Like, dude, look at this. Look at this thing here. Look at the skull. Did their skulls? Oh my god. Look at this. This is awesome. Not that big of a rule book. You know, it's just kind of adding a new mechanic. Carnomorph board. All right. So I guess these will replace the core board in each of those, like if you're playing the Void Seeders or the Carnomorphs. All right, some warning tokens. All right. Put that off to the side. Let's get this open. All right. What are we going to check out first? Let's look at these things. These things are wild. Now, do these guys just look kind of like, I mean, is there a replacement alien for each of the core game aliens? I don't know. if Did I just read that on the back of the box? I don't know. But it looks like, I mean, like, are these the face huggers? Like when you replace them? I mean, they kind of look like it, right? Like there's these small. Oh, dude, these are freaky. That's freaky right there. Yeah, there's four of these guys. Really cool. Um, let's see what else. What are, who else are we gonna grab? Dude, look at these things. Jesus. I mean, these are these are kind of way more scarier than the regular aliens, right? I mean, just having like a skull and dudes like screaming at you while he looks like kind of like an alien zombie type deal, with just this uh, like his arm about to slash you to pieces. Dude, that is crazy. There's a bunch of these sculpts too. Detail on them is nice. Really nice. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these things. Okay. Eight of those. We got some other creepy aliens right here. Man. I mean, they, they look wild, right? They do look wild. Detail on them is nice. You got four of those guys. Oh, uh, you got... Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Oh, my God, dude. His face is like half alien, half skull. That is wild, man. That is wild. This thing is freaky as hell, man. Really cool. I mean, it's cool. It's detailed. Jesus. That's awesome. That is awesome. And then this guy, too. This is the guy on the cover, right? Yeah, this is this guy right here. Man, dude, this is wild. This looks like a rib cage upside down. Yeah, boy. That's crazy. Two skulls. Man, this guy's wild. This guy's wild. His little feet right here. All right, so then what do we got here? Oh, these are two more of the same of this. Okay, all right. All right, so you got three of these guys. That's cool. All right, so this is kind of like, I guess, maybe the main guy. I mean, dude, he's vicious enough, right? I love this thing. This guy looks awesome. Yeah, that one's really cool. Where the hell? Where did this go? Am I? There we go. All right. All right, cool. Yeah, those minis look really cool. I really like those. They're sick, man. They're freaky looking. Let's take a look at these real quick. These cards. Carnomorph adaptations. Okay. Tentacle. If a Carnomorph attack misses, it deals one light wound instead. Okay. Agile. Voracious. Changeling. Fire resistant. Genetic malfunction. Okay. All right. So it switches up the game a little bit. And then you got more cards right here. Claw. Infected. Deal one injury to a Carnomorph in the room you are in. Then roll the combat die and deal additional injuries according to the result. Nice. All right. Let's just... Pop this open. We'll take a look at one or two more. Yeah, man. I'm so far. I gotta say, everything else looks looks pretty sweet, or everything looks pretty sweet. That's what I was trying to say. What do we still got? We still got a few things left to open. We got the uh, play mat, 
the medic uh, terrain expansion. All right, so just taking a look at some of these cards. Wait, did I already? All right, so we got sharpened senses, genetic malfunction. Dude, look at that thing. Genetic malfunction. Dude, that's awesome. Rampant mutation, stalking. Jesus, look at that. Dude, that is sick, man. Dude, the art on these cards is awesome. Really cool. I'm really digging the art on these cards. Everything looks, I mean, dude, just that just that image right there. They really did a phenomenal job on the artwork. That I mean, that's dude, that's one of the biggest things that I'm noticing about this game. It's just everything looks really good, really sweet. Let's just put these back in here quick. We'll set this off to the side. Really cool. Really cool. A lot of detail minis. Everything looks really nice. All right, so next up, let's take a look at, yeah, let's do the other box here. We got the Terrain Expansion. Take a look at this, open this up. Yeah, I I wasn't gonna get this, but I was like, you know what? Like, you know, sometimes you're, you're going shopping, right? You're checking out some things and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it, whatever. I was, I was excited about getting the game, so I, I splurged a little bit, getting the Terrain Expansion. It just looked cool, added some 3D elements, and uh, honestly, it, I think these I am going to paint, like this stuff here. Yeah, dude, look at this. These are the escape pods. Heavy duty, too. These are nice, thick plastic, heavy duty. They look really good. I think I am going to paint these. I think they'll look pretty cool painted. Yeah, they look really nice. So you got four of these. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Just having a little 3D element on the board sometimes. I mean, especially for the games you uh, you like, right? I know I've I've never played this game, so I don't know if I'm gonna like it. But I, like I said before, I have I have a good feeling. Oh, these are the doors. Oh, dude, this is awesome. They got that like the doors like got a huge puncture in it. That looks really cool. It's got some claw marks. And doors are nice and thick too. Yeah, they're nice. They're really nice. So I think all of them. Do they all have the same design? No, they don't. All right, two of them are like that. Some huge gashes in these doors. Dude, that's awesome. Really cool. Really cool. All right, what else we got? All right, so this is more of the same than the as the first two. More of the same as the second two I looked at. And that's probably going to be... Okay. Nice. All right, so it looks like there's, what, eight of each sculpt nice i like them i think they look they look sick they look really good really good i'm digging this i might paint these as well we'll have to see but yeah man i it looks it looks really good i'm 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 happy with all of these um so, all right so let's uh let's put this back real quick and then let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the medic we'll take a look at the medic so let's pop this in. Easy, you can see it goes on easy. All right. Now we got the medic. Let's pop this open. You got the medic board right here. And this is a, uh, a Kickstarter exclusive, right? I, I don't know if you can, you might be able to buy this retail. Um, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it was on there, right? On the uh, Kickstarter campaign, so. I don't know if it came with the, I don't know if it came with the core box on the campaign or not, or if I had to add it. Here's the medic. Nice sculpt. It's already got the, it's got the pink base on there. Nice, nice detail. Nice detail. Yeah, looks cool. Very nice, very nice. And you got some of the medic cards here for the uh, when you draft the characters. Some other cards here. Uh, quest item: discard a med kit to activate this item. Okay. Needle gun, classic weapon. Got some uh, other cards here. Search action for the medic. Nice. All right. So that is the medic. Not much to it. You know, just the kind of the mini character board and some of the cards nice 
set this off to the side. What do we got next? Let's do the uh, let's do the untold stories. And this is untold stories number one. We'll just take a. I mean, this do this artwork. I love this stuff, man. I think it looks really good. Introduction. So this is kind of like a comic book type deal. That's awesome. That's really cool. Is the whole thing like this? Okay, general rules. So there's actually additional rules as well. More comic stuff. Oh, that's a neat idea. That's a neat idea. You know, uh, oh, so it's kind of like a campaign type deal. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. That's cool. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Um, Under Falling Skies did something similar. And that they had tiles that kind of made up a, a little comic book. Not this detailed or anything, but I just think this is a neat idea to see in board games. You know, a little bit of lore behind the stories, you know, um, for a campaign. I just think that's a neat idea. That's cool. I really like that. Artwork looks fantastic. I'm curious to read through this. It looks really good. Uh, we have some additional tokens. I don't know if this came with the untold stories or not. It may have. Because I guess if you're doing a campaign, right, you might have some uh, different tokens. But these all look cool. This guy already popped out of here. And let's see, these are popping out nicely. Oh, is that some uh, troopers? Like entering the, uh, the ship or something? Cool. All right. Double-sided. Nice. Nice thick tokens. We also have the Untold Stories uh, number two. I'm imagining this is going to be along the lines of the uh, first Untold Stories. Let's see. Yep. Comic book. I guess continuing the campaign, maybe. Dude, that's cool. That's really cool. Really digging this. Everything looks really good. I mean, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of uh, you know, this, like the comic book style anyway. I, I just think it's, it's a neat idea. You know, it really gets you into the theme of it. And the artwork is fantastic. That's cool. Don't you see that guy? He's like, well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, I'll take a look at these later. And then we also have another sheet of tokens here. It looks like they're all exactly the same as the other sheet of tokens. So you just have more of the same. Okay, cool. And then I think, I think that might be everything. Um, let me just glance over here. We do have the play mat. Uh, I'm going to clear off some of this stuff. Oh, actually, we do have some of these cards right here. This came in the box, too. Let's see what these are quick. Wildfire. Dude, that, that looks awesome. These are vent cards. Okay. What's this right here? Comms room. Okay, so it just tells you what the, the different rooms are, I guess. All right, so some event cards. Oh, we already looked at that one. Sunburn. Draw another comic event card. Feral. Midnight. All right. So I guess you add some events to the game as well. Okay. Mixing it up even further. I'm on board. And I think that's, I think that's it as far as, you know, uh, boxes and, you know, additional characters, tokens and whatnot. Uh, last thing is this play mat. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to clear off all this stuff. We'll set out the play mat. I know we already took a look at the board, but I do just kind of want to inspect this. So I'm going to clear everything and then uh, we'll be back with this setup. All right. So here we have the play mat set up. And honestly, um, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. I usually when you buy the play mats, at least in my experience, uh, some of them are a little bit bigger than the actual boards, but it is the same size about. Now there is a, a slight difference. Uh, you can see it, especially here in these uh, red spots. The play mat, which is right here, uh, the reds pop a little bit. You can see this right here. And like you can see, i move this over to the side a little bit. Like this room right here, this color pops a little bit more than this. Um, and it is a little bit blacker. You see like all this right here compared to this. Um, it does look like that in person as well. So like the colors are a little bit, like it's a little bit easier to see on the play mat. Um, and the greens are slightly different as well. So um, I, do, I do like it even just for the simple fact of the colors pop a little bit more. And honestly, I just like playing on play mats a little bit. 
Um, I just think it's cool with, you know, uh, like the way that the things feel on the play mat. I don't know. I'm just a fan. I always have been. So yeah, that's, that's the play mat. And I, I do believe that's everything. It was quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'm just glancing around to see. I do think that's it. Um, yeah. So with that being said, let's switch back to the front facing view and we'll do a small little wrap up and then, uh, we'll go from there. All right. Holy shit, guys. Look at all this stuff. Now, it seems like it's starting to become a thing that I do. Like after the unboxing, I lay out all the components. But Jesus, man, this is going to take me forever to put all this stuff back in the box. But dude, everything about it looks amazing. Dude, the uh, the minis look fantastic. You got the queen here. Um, all of the expansions, the minis for the expansions. Dude, there's a ton of cards. These 3D tokens. I mean, like for the noise, the fire, the... Uh, what is it? I forget what this gear is for. The... Uh, the malfunctioning thing uh the 3d uh terrain set these doors with the escape pods dude all that is like nice amount of plastic they're, they're not flimsy at all really nice the art on everything fantastic dude i'm really digging all the art on the cards the board everything these little untold stories right here fantastic and i love this little element of you know putting the card in here to see if you're contaminated or not cool little touch all the characters look awesome. The art on all of those is amazing. Uh, I am really pleased with everything. Really, seriously am. Uh, I am going to be looking into this manual all throughout this weekend. Maybe trying to get a play or two in. You know, I am really excited about this if you guys can't tell. Uh, at the very least, I want to try to do a review at some point. Maybe a playthrough. I think that would be really cool. Get some buddies, do a playthrough of this. I am really excited to get this to the table. Like I said, this is one of my most anticipated games. I have been waiting to get this game for a long time. I think just everything appeals to me. The, uh, you know, the, the cooperation mixed with the ship, you know, fighting the aliens. Everything, everything sounds awesome. So I'm really excited to get this out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much going to be it. Like I said, now I got to pack up all this stuff. So seriously thank you guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed um like i said i'm going to try to get a playthrough or a review up on the channel so make sure you stay tuned for that and until next time again thank you guys for watching make sure to grab some brews play some games and i'll see you guys later all right take care